Samsung Exynos 2200 appeared on Geekbench 5 again, this time showing better results. We are a few days away from the official announcement of Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, and I think Exynos 2200 is already operating at its full capacity and is ready to be put to the test. Hey guys, this is Arnie from Smartphones Recapped, Apple A15 Bionic versus Samsung Exynos 2200. Let's go! Well guys, let's start off the comparison by breaking down CPU configurations and clock speeds. F15 Bionic is a hexacore processor packed with two performance and four efficiency cores, whereas Exynos 2200 features one performance, three metal and four efficiency cores. But when it comes to performance, core count is not very important here, so don't focus too much on it. Exynos 2200 boasts ARM's X2 performance core clocked at 2.8 GHz, this is a modest number, considering the fact that two other high-end smartphone chipsets, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and MediaTek Dimensity 9000, which will be powering this year's premium smartphones, feature the same X2 performance core clocked at the higher frequencies, 3 and 3.05 GHz respectively. Its three middle cores are clocked at 2.52 GHz, and other four are efficiency cores, each sitting at 1.82 GHz. To me, these numbers are kind of weird, considering the fact that its predecessors' all eight cores were clocked at higher frequencies. So please, guys, take these numbers with a huge grain of salt. Its main rival, A15 Bionic, is featuring two performance cores, each clocked at 3.24 GHz, and four efficiency cores operating at 2 GHz. So guys, looking at these numbers, it becomes clear that Exynos won't be able to rival Apple's chipset in terms of CPU performance. Now let's have a look at Geekbench 5 CPU test results and you will see what I am talking about. A few days ago, Exynos 2200 was spotted again on Geekbench 5, this time hitting 1168 points. This score is slightly better than it had shown previously. But again, this score is not enough to catch up to a 15 Bionic, it even doesn't come close to it. Have a look at this number guys, a 15 Bionic has scored 1734 on Geekbench 5. I'm telling you, that's insane, it's almost 50% faster than its competitor. Well, now let's break down the multicore numbers. As you can see, the gap between these chipsets is not so huge. A15 Bionic has scored 4818, whereas Exynos 2200 3508, which means the difference between multicore scores is 37%. Guys, Geekbench 5 tests only the CPU part of the chipsets, and we can clearly see that A15 Bionic is way ahead of its competitor Exynos 2200. Alright, now let's move on to the Antutu benchmark and see how these chipsets fare against each other on this benchmark. Antutu is a mixed CPU-GPU benchmark which tests both CPU and GPU parts of the chipset and here guys, the results are surprisingly different. Here, Exynos 2200 has managed to outperform its rival by 14%, which is super impressive. But please guys, take this performance difference with a huge grain of salt because for Android smartphones it's quite common to outperform iPhones on Antutu benchmark for some reasons. Now guys, let's move on to the GFX benchmark and have a look at some GPU numbers. This is a pure GPU test and again here A15 Bionic is shining, showing some impressive performance. It has managed to hit 147 FPS in 1080p whereas Exynos 2200 only 109 and difference is very significant. And I'm kind of surprised here guys because it features a GPU made by AMD and they hyped it up a lot. So I expected more from it, so I'm kind of disappointed here. Well guys, this wraps up for today's video. I'll do a more detailed comparison when Exynos 2200 debuts with Galaxy S22 Ultra. Please guys, stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you soon.